news. I don't think anybody expected it. This is one of the most unexpected turn events I can ever imagine. That Jay Monahan, who is in the show PJ Tour, who has been demonizing the Saudis on both the ground since the beginning of live, suddenly, the next thing you know, the Saudis seem to own the PJ Tour. So I don't think anybody expected it. So that's my podcast running at 2x and I don't really need to tell you how's the weather this morning. <laughs> you can see already it's a very rainy morning here in New Delhi and we'll see how we fare. As you can <laughs> make out the rain has definitely not subsided. If anything, it's heavier now. But still, we are positive. We'll try to have a beautiful but rainy weekend morning here in Delhi. <laughs> of course, for a channel called A Walk With Me, the easier option this morning would have been to just stay at home because it's a rainy day, what can I do? But we are definitely not taking the easier option and we'll go out and explore. So here we are, all set to explore and experience the sights and sounds of a rainy morning here in central Delhi. So we've moved over to what's called the outer circle of Connaught Place and if you've seen some of my previous videos you might know that Connaught Place is made up of three concentric circles where we were in the earlier shot was the inner circle which also faces inwards, radially inwards. This is the outer circle that's facing radially outwards and there's of course an inner or middle circle as well between the two which is called the middle circle. So that's kind of how this place is. So why should anyone be in Connaught Place on a rainy day? So I think one of the benefits of this place is that all the walkways and passageways here they're covered and therefore you can just watch it rain without even getting wet. That's exactly what we are doing right now. Adoring these beautiful clouds. I think people's attitudes towards rain can be hugely different. For instance, a lot of people in the West, they detest rains, right? They hate when it's a rainy day. But that's definitely not true here in India. Delhi for example or in most of North India whenever it's a rainy day we don't really mind it in fact we end up enjoying such days maybe we'd go out for a little walk when there are no puddles of water around we'll cook delicious foods and we'll generally feel a sense of relief because the weather is usually nicer and not as hot anymore so a rainy day in itself is not really a problem for us here. I mean, traffic and water logging can be, of course. I'm enjoying these views so much, to be honest. Vimal, Prachi, that's such a somber view this morning, uh, 
that's cushy. To imagine where all these people are, where Himanshu must be, lost from Ajit Nagar in Delhi, where must Karishma be right now? What about Gungun? Muhammad Saif where they must be are they also in this rain somewhere getting wet or have they left Delhi where's Preeti it's so moving to think about these missing people I think rains have this ability to make you think more deeply about things because they slow everything down. I don't think this is stopping anytime soon. The outer circle is probably all that we have. The outer circle though is more than enough to be honest in fact it's my personal favorite part of Connaught Place because it's always less crowded and it actually spans a total of three kilometers so this is a very interesting almost intriguing part of the outer circle that we've stumbled upon this is sort of a slight walkway by the side of the stairs that go up the outer circle and it leads into this almost courtyard sort of a place. And this space actually also seems to connect into what's the middle circle of Connaught Place. This looks like a small find this morning. This is the passage I was talking about. What you see is the outer circle and we just came in from there. So we see this dark staircase here, but what can you do when you see a staircase? You just have to climb it. And that's what I'm trying to do now. I have no idea what would be upstairs or if we would even be allowed to check out what's upstairs but it's a rainy morning on a weekend and we are out here exploring so I guess we'll just try it. This is of course the same courtyard that we were looking at from downstairs. Now we are at just one floor above. Whatever that's supposed to be, it's almost like the front of a syringe, like the plastic cap of a syringe. I see it in that dia. I wonder what was happening here. So I'd never thought that on this rainy weekend morning I would get to explore absolutely new views and yeah I'm, I'm surprised to see this. This is a completely different perspective on the outer circle. It's such a privilege to be able to experience this even though it's a rainy morning I think we almost have, have a find on our hands and I don't think anybody can come and explore these spaces because we kind of had to talk to a person and request him to give us a peek of this spot and it's beautiful made even more beautiful on this 
rainy morning when the trees, the streets, everything looks cleaner and nicer. Wow. Now I'm trying our luck a little more. <laughs> this is the highest level of the outer circle. I don't think I can get out or we can get out. At least we can peek out a little bit. I can try to see if the camera can go out. I don't think it can. But yeah, I mean, I just love these views. I wish I could almost tell you what's the exact location of this beautiful spot, but I don't think I can. <laughs> if you want to experience this virtually, you should watch this video. And if you want to experience this for real, maybe you should just walk with me <laughs> wow this has been so wonderful we are back on the road after checking out that wonderful view and it's not raining as much anymore it's almost feel sad when the rain stops raining. It's a weird feeling. We still have a little bit of this drizzle going. It's almost as if when the rain stops, you're beyond the climax and you don't really enjoy the morning or the day as much. At least that's what I'm feeling. Everything seems to be slightly lower down now, right? But I think we are glad at experiencing the unexpected things that we've experienced. And while we're in the outer circle, I actually remembered a very interesting fact about the inner circle. It was more about, I think, the Central Park. So, at the time of World War II, in order to protect the civilians of New Delhi, there were lots of places where these underground bunkers were created, and those bunkers or tunnels still exist under Connaught Place. So this is pretty much it. As you can see, the rain has stopped and I'm hungry so I've come here to eat, maybe to have some hot coffee. And if you wanted a little bit more information about those bunkers or those <laughs> whatever that's supposed to mean. So yeah. Those bunkers or those tunnels, they still exist. You may have seen Palika Bazaar. It actually comprises of some of those tunnels of World War II. But yeah, I'll catch you again. Bye.